Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to the quest as I get tongue tied there. Woohoo! Alright, now today we do have a few things we are going to be doing. But let me show you what we've done off camera. We have now an ender pump, or ender tank, sorry, set up over here feeding lava into our smeltery. Now, it's not as good of a setup as we used to have because. You know, they got rid of the endothermic pump. And then somebody made a pump called a uh, mod called the ranged pump. And it's supposed to be really good, but yeah, it didn't work for me at all. So what we did is we have the other tank over here. And then, yes, we have lava right there. But let me show you. A little secret. Inside here, virtual fire zones. There is one under this block, this one, this one, this one in the middle. There is a Master Ritual Stone. It is blood magic. That gives me a Lava Source block thingy for a cost of blood from my soul network. And over here, we now have the Mana Distributor, which puts mana in both these pools. And we've... Up these because I got tired of the ground over here catching on fire. And what we've done is under that lava is a master ritual stone. Under these is the same ritual that's over there. Just repeated four times. So we now have an unlimited supply of lava. This will auto feed. This is all set up good. It should be. Yeah, that's good. Wait a minute. Uh, it's still working good because we have a buttload of mana off this thing. But yeah, and in case you're wondering, with so much of a draw on our blood, on our soul network, eh, 176,000 life points on our soul network. So we're good. Um, in between episodes, we did have to replace this spawner over here twice. Creepers kept blowing up in there, so now we have totems around it to keep creepers from blowing up because there is no light in there. Uh, there is now a cave spider spawner from the mine over there and here. The other four spawners that we found in there got put over here, so there are now five spawners in here. It's a sickly setup. As you can see, I have 121 levels. AFK'd over here for a while. Oh, look, more experience. Still our levels in there. But yeah, this beautiful setup works wonderful, works wonderful. Now, very important, look, we have set these up as the Weaver level infusion crafting injectors. So now we can up our sword eventually. We got a few things we got to do. I do want to, uh, I don't know how enchantments are going to work on it. So I'm going to take the enchantments off. We'll get most of the experience back. Okay, we got 18 back. But not like we ain't got enough experience. This way we can up it and still, you know, do our thing. Now. Ah, we also have a wireless charger in place. Had to go to uh, the end and get some Enderman heads. Now, let's see. What was it we needed for this bad boy? Okay, we need this, which requires this, awaken blocks, and we need to make them. So we need two, three, four, five, six... Draconic Cores, and the Dragon Heart. So, let's get some Draconic Cores going. And we could actually just do this. Do here. Bam. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. 
Uh, let's see. Scroll down through here. We should have everything else already made. Yes, the four draconic blocks and the dragon heart. Also, yeah, we made the full weaver and armor and put it over here. Looks awesome. That sun's going to be going down soon. So we will be sleeping soon. And hopefully it won't be a blood moon. Because those are annoying. Blood moons are so annoying. One, two. Three, four. You there. You there. Let's go sleep before we throw the heart up there because I'm pretty sure huh, not going to take. I'm pretty sure it'll take longer than, than you know, just a few seconds to make this actually. Now. This does look so awesome. Start. Click, 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 click. That is cool looking. Wow, it's only up to 7% charged. This is going to take a massive amount of power. Yeah, we have already drained every bit of power out of our uh, reactor. We drained these just about. How much was that was needed to make that again? Well, that's a buttload of power. Yeah, 350 million RF. So this is going to take a minute. Yeah, we've actually already started draining an energy cell. Now, I have added a chunk loader over here under the base. It's a uh, two blocks. Yeah, two blocks below this fire. So while that's doing its thing, we'll get back to that here later. There's a few other things I want to make. One of them is in Evil Craft. And I want to make it just because yeah, I want to see what it is. Uh, spectral Glasses says, look into the spirit world. So, what can we make this? Materialize. And produce. Drops when killing vengeful, venge a vengeance spirit. I don't remember how to kill a vengeance spirit. So, yeah, we're going to have to look into that, too. But, there is another thing I want to make. From Botania. If they still have it. And it's over here in this stuff somewhere. If they still have it. Let's see. They may have gotten rid of it. It was a really useful item though. I hope they didn't get rid of it. I don't think it's the third eye. Ah, here it is. The Mana Seer Monocle. We need mana glass and a mana still ingot and some gold nuggets. So, glass. Uh, we'll take that. Make sure we don't have that on. Good, but it's off. This mana glass is actually really cool. You can barely see it, though. That's one thing that's so cool about it. Now, what this does is I'll show you. 
You know how we can't see any of the beams over here except for when that fires or, you know, if we have the wand in our hand? We now have a monocle on. We should be able to see now. Unless they've changed it. Yeah, it looks like they've changed it. Have they made it purely cosmetic now? Let's go look in the book. Luxicum Batania. Alright. Anyway, I still like the way this looks. So, throw it on. Yeah, we're supposed to be able to see the mana burst with it. I uh, was not wrong. Oh, look, now we're being able to see it. Ha-ha. Or if so, be able to see the radius of flowers. Yeah. Check it out. We can see how far the flowers cover. So, since we are getting back into Batania decently, that'll come in handy. Oh, not what I wanted to click. Some books have the back at the top. Some have it on the sides. Yeah, it's all annoying. This is third eye, dude. Third eye is an odd sensor. You weren't on the body one. That's cool. What's it take to make this thing? Ooh, that's expensive. But, like most things in Batania, it does require a cost of mana. And we are currently not wearing our mana rings. We need to get in the habit of wearing those again. Glitchy, glitchy eyepiece. Mod creator. What's going on with this? I do also want this. Oh, we need another mana still ingot. Not a problem. Now, what this is, is... It's literally just a case for baubles. But... There's a good reason to have it. Watch. When I open it up, I have access to all these spots. I can throw baubles in there. It will also help me know what can and can't be worn, because obviously with this can't be worn, doesn't go in. And in the long run, it will save me space. I could change out items as need be. Now, there are some new additions to the mod that I don't know about what they do yet, but yeah. Alright, next thing I want to do is we are going to be going to the end because we need a few items. Because I have came across something that looks like it might be really useful in extra utilities. Uh, let's see, where was that? Ah, yes. Quantum Quarry mines blocks from a hypothetical dimension that might have existed, requires activators, same cost, another star, four stone burnt, and four end stone, hence why we need to go to the end. Here's what we have to do with it. So we need six of these, which is burnt stone, end stone, diamond pick, and end rods. So stone and rods. 
Yeah, it's about time we go get those anyway. So let's head this way. Ooh, this is a little bit of a trip. Hmm. Might be a way to speed us up. Actually, with Batania. Although, actually, wait. We're wearing our belt spot already. So we'll just leave it as is. There is a belt in Batania that it, there's like three tiers of it that speeds you up and gives you step assist. So, speed up, in my opinion, cool. Step assist, not my favorite thing. So, we'll just head over here to the end portal. Sadly, we haven't got a bunch of end portal frames yet from Lucky Blocks. I only got three. Now, I did open those other Lucky Blocks after making them lucky. <laughs> yeah, why risk it? But, uh, yeah, still haven't got no end portal frames. But luckily, the end really isn't that far with how quickly we move. In fact, it looks like the leaves are having a little bit of time loading in quick enough to keep up. Grab an ender pearl. Because to get the end rods, we are going to have to go to that other dimension. So we'll just grab that. It's funny, the end, uh, that, um, waypoint is actually in this dimension. Uh, there we go. See? There it is. So let's go find some of these rods. Oh, lucky two, three, four lucky blocks here. Eh, not bad. Don't know why I want rotten flesh. Just a stick. Uh, it's just a stick and just rotten flesh. Wow. Now I do miss my booping stick. We'll say that. Hey, oh. dragon egg, which is cool because we haven't got the dragon egg yet. Oh, that's going to be fun for some Enderman. Fall in the pit. Fall in the pit. That's why flight is super good. That's it. Take a lapis. Oh, well. Uh, we need end stone anyway. So. Let's go ahead and start sending stuff back through the portal. Or through the internet work, actually. We gotta be ready to run. Ooh, our wish came true. That was actually a good wish. And beacon. Never can have too many beacons. Or any of this other stuff that it gave us. Except the pressure plate. I guess you could have too many pressure plates. I wonder something. Will this work from in there? We'll find out. Oh, the lucky blocks. Alright, I'm going to open these two right here and then no more. 
Because uh, it looks like we could really be in the end forever opening what he belongs. What do we get? Two saddles and Hero's Potion. I'm guessing that's what replaced the Lucky Potions. Uh, let's go find us some end rods. Plenty of them over here. Need at least six of these. I guess that was a shulker making that noise. I wouldn't know. If that's not a shulker, if that's a new Enderman noise, that's really weird. Uh, look, I already got our end rods. We get a couple extras just for the fun. We're going to need another Ender Pearl to get back. Now granted, I couldn't really tell you what this quarry is going to do. Nope, I guess that ring does not work from inside the box. Kind of didn't figure it would, but it was worth a shot. Okay, come on, get us home. There we go. Whew, home. Now we just come back over here to the portal. And, and it's night time. Okay. I don't know if we're going to have enough of the stone burnt, but we can always make more. Alright. I need one, two, three, four, five, and six diamond pickaxes. I mean, that's a little bit expensive, diamond pickaxes. But, hey, whatever. Hey, we did have enough burnt stone. Air lily seeds. Now, since I'm not really sure what this is going to do, we're going to take and set it up right here. Odd that we can't place this on dirt. All right, enchanted book, biometer. It needs RF. Why is that not a surprise? Hey, is this finished finally? Yes, all right. <laughs> How's our power supply looking? I'm almost afraid to look. Oh, we are back to full. Oh, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing better than good. We need two awake. We need an awakened core, a draconic energy core, and two of those. So, okay. That's probably going to take a lot of energy, too. So, we'll hold off on setting the quarry up yet. Let's make these cores and things. Okay. 
Wow, that's actually really expensive. Weaver and cores we need look like two of them. Four of them, sorry. Wow, so four. Sixteen draconic cores. Wow. Hoping I have enough to make them. And we're probably going to need a lot more of them. And we're going to need another star. Two, three, four. Another star. And we're going to need these ingots. Alright. I was say, Draconic Evolution has some extremely expensive stuff in it. Three and two. Uh-oh, we're going to need another one of these. Wait a minute. I think we actually do have one more. Let me go check. Because if you remember right, we had to have this amount of these just to make one of those. And I think I did end up turning the last one into one of the Weaver level. Let's see. Yes. Haha. -ha. Alright. And we need a conduit. For power. We are running low on those. We'll have to make some more. We're good, though. We are good. We're just going to stick it right up here. I swear, I don't see how some of the YouTubers I've seen that have worked with Draconic Evolutions, uh, how they get all the way up the the levels of it they get to because quite frankly it's a lot of work in my opinion but I do want to take and do it all right, we're all set that's going to take another huge amount of power but it's actually working quicker this is good I'm afraid to see what the rest of the stuff for this model costs with uh, this just being for the sword. Or for one piece of the sword I want. Doc Weed, after you watch this episode, you gotta get in touch with me and let me know. It was 1710 this hard on Draconic Evolution? Because I know you played around with it more than I did. Alright. Now we need Draconic Energy Core, which luckily is craftable. Unluckily, it is expensive as can be to make. One, two, three. There we go, there's that. And yes, we do have a lot of nether stars. But I do think we are probably getting close to running out. That's what we need. Four of those. That. There we go. Alright, we got these two. 
What else we need? Just two ingots. All right. And probably a buttload of power. Tell you, this thing is stupid on the amount of power it uses. Actually, kind of afraid to see how much the uh, quarry is going to use. Oh, and we need a higher tier. Oh, what tier is that? We need draconic tier. Which requires. Ho oh, ho! Oh! We got to kill the Ender Dragon a few more times. So let's grab that. Because that is going to require quite a bit. Oh, that puts a stop to us on progressing there. That's okay, though. We'll go hook this up. Possibly re enchant our sword. Okay. Can I place this up here? No. Why would it let me? Why would it be nice and let me do that? <laughs> Building materials. Be nice and put this back where I got it. to get a piece of dirt to replace that rather do it now well, I'm thinking about it sorry some things I am OCD about I know normally I don't seem very Minecraft OCD but some things I am all right let's see we have power 191 blocks mind one jungle biome okay So, like, do we just hook a chest up to this or something? Always on. What's it doing to our power supply? Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's sleep and... Let's try with just a chest, sticking a chest on it. If this works, we'll put an ender chest on it. Oh yeah, that works. Wow. These all seem to be good. Wow, that thing's booking. Let's see. Ender. Just. Don't have any. Lovely. Why would I have an ender chest, you know? Just, yeah, you know, because it would be convenient, you know. Whatever the things you need, when you need them in Minecraft. Like, I know I don't have any blaze rods. I'm afraid to see how... Wow. Hey, we got dilithium. Got some gold, silver... And iron. Mm -hmm. 
Right, it looks like what I can do is set it to mine certain biomes, though. Yeah, it's currently mining jungle mountains, but this is a biome marker. So, I don't know if I can just, like, I'll be honest, I have no clue how that works. We'll figure it out, though. Look, I can see it through the wall. All right. Have we got the blaze rods? Yes, we do. All white. All white. That actually seems to be working faster than the ME system can take them out just about. That is cool. And we've mined over a thousand blocks. That's actually kind of better than the uh, Ender Quarry. Uh, there was something else I saw in Extra Utilities that I wanted to get. Because I personally figured it would not be in the mod anymore since they got rid of Unstable Ingots. But, turns out, I was wrong. Deep dark portal. And look at this recipe. Eight pieces of compressed cobblestone is all it takes. We don't have any compressed cobblestone though. But, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one for me on one of the most dangerous recipes in Minecraft to do. To one of the dumbestly easy recipes. And I don't mean dumb as in, oh, this is stupid. No, I mean it's so easy that it's like, what? This used to kill how many people? And now it's just like, a, oh, well, here, we're going to uh, make it cobbles, compressed cobblestone. Not even double compressed, just normal compressed. Where do I want to put this? Hmm. Portal to the deep dark. Eh, why not? We'll just keep it inside the base. It's one block. We'll stick it on a wall somewhere. Or in the floor. The floor is probably better. Uh, but there we go. Ah, yes. We've been making this uh, fuel. Got a heck of a burn time. But let's... Take a look at the deep dark. Can we go to it? No, we can't. Why not? What's the trick? Well, we do have a book for extra utilities. Uh, uh, extra utilities manual. Let's see. I don't really find it that useful. But it does have a builder's wand in it. And a destruction wand. I don't I haven't tried that one yet. Bag of holding. Yep, it doesn't seem to want to tell me what I need for the deep dark. Let's see. There's the compressed cobblestone. There's a glass cutter. Ender shard. Bag of holding. Red orchids. And green.
I do apologize. Uh, just looking over. See if I see it in here anywhere. Weird new potions. Weird new villagers. Huh. Nothing. But we will have to figure it out. Until then, it can go in the ME system. Uh, nothing too much in extra utilities that I want right now. Alright. Don't know how that. Oh. Yeah, I haven't done much down here. We really, there's not really much else in embers I want. I mean, the ray gun is kind of cool, but that's about it. All right. Now, as y'all can see, I have been busy off camera with making stuff. And progressing. Let me grab the experience out of here so I can re-enchant my sword. Why do I want it re-enchanted? Because, uh, yeah, just easier to deal with that mobs that way. And they have been wanting to be a rather nasty pain. Let's see, we want looting. Oops, soul bind. We have soul bound. Can we put soul bound on here? Yes. Hand of Thor. That'll actually come in handy. And what the Hand of Thor does, it, for those who haven't seen it in a, my previous series, is it will make it where when I attack mobs, there's a chance that they will get struck by lightning. Is that really full? Is that full yet? Yeah. Oh, that one's not full yet, though. Now, I do also have another idea, because we are going to need mana in other areas as well, because, yeah, there are other things we are going to want to do. Hate to say, I'm probably going to be jumping back into Batania a bit, because there are certain things in Batania that are going to be really handy to have. Uh, we need string. Are we really completely out of string? Wow. That's, that's actually kind of amazing to me. Now, there's the whole network looking. Plenty full. Did this ritual stop? There we go. No string? Why no string? Oh, Blood Moon's rising. Come on, Die Spider. That's it. 
cutting that off for now. Got what we need. Ah! Get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out. Wait a minute. Oh, we broke one of the bells. That's not good. That's so not good. Let's set that down. Throw. That down. Got right here. Ow! Look, y'all guys can't really hurt me. But the worst they can do is uh, irritate me a little bit. Okay, we gotta get home. Not want to throw that in there, but I will. That was a sigil. Now we need to quickly use this mana string. Or string to make this. Mana infused string. Because I'm wanting to make something with Batania that is really kind of cool. This thing right here. All right, we need eight of these. Let's throw it around. Tiny potato mask. Hee <laughs> hee. We have tiny potato mask. And we'll take off the helmet so you can really see it. <laughs> oh, I missed the tiny potato. That goes under trinket, by the way. Which does. It's only a cosmetic item. There's a few cosmetic items in Batania. The Hyper Plus. Um, ancient Mask. Uh, some of these do things like the um, Monocle. Some don't. We're about the Lexicon Batania again. An invisibility cloak. Uh, the thing is, most of the ones that actually do anything will cost. Like this, negates knockback. Not bad. We're being shot at through windows. That's fine. That's kind of useless with having uh, the ME system. Tiny Planet. <laughs> tiny Planet is a bobble with gravitational properties. While equipped, Tiny Planet will pull any nearby mana bursts towards the wearer. It's kind of cool. But not really super useful for me right now. We have rings already. Let's see. Bubbles, uh, 
there's a lot of cosmetic baubles that can be made. Ancient mask. Yeah, does nothing. And they're getting wrecked out there. <laughs> Let's see though. Is there anything in Batania I want to make right now? So many things have changed in it. I'm not complaining though. That's still pretty cool. So can balance. Charm of Laurel. Charm of Deva. Invisibility. Prismarine crystals. Yeah. Oh, we can craft those. Though. I forgot about that. Okay. Well, the one last thing I wanted to do today is I want to finally sit, go, get started in a mod we have not touched on yet. <laughs> Which is I want to get started on lightning craft let's see don't tell me they've started out with just this one oh, that can't be right okay, well, let's make the book first that will be the most beneficial item for us There it is. Don't want, don't want, don't want. There we go. Iron rod. All right. We now have lightning craft. Air terminal. Lightning cells. Stores energy. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, it's not going to give me any recipes, really. Just these recipes. Ah, you suck. Do you go on the shelf? Yes. Huh? Cool. Hey, and we placed it right. Cool. All right. Uh, we need... Uh, used to have an iron one. Like, we can't even make Electrum yet. Unless there's a new way to make it. Yeah. A lightning block breaker? Oh, oh, oh. Lightning miners. Oh. It's going to be fun. All oh, new lightning craft play toys. Has a capacity of a thousand? That's ridiculous. Infusion table. Lightning furnace, lightning crusher, infusion table. Wow, where is the energy cell? The lower tier ones. Yeah. And they used to have like ironing stuff. There is a solution to this, though. If we can make it. RF Lightning Generator. Looks like we can make everything for it. Yes, I know, it's a little cheaty, but... Hey, whatever. We need iron. And all of it's blocked up. So. 
There we go. Now we got quite a few ingots of it, or ores of it over there too. Alright. Alright. Now we'll just do this. Bam. Now we just need the one last item, the redstone comparator. We don't have any torches. How's it always the most basic things that you don't have? We're going to try this out, though. All right, we ain't got time to kill with the uh, blood moon being out there. Hopefully it's about past, though. Yep, looks like it's getting much better. It might be done now. Conduits. I do not want this near anything that is wood, so we're going to make some more conduits. Hi, make some conduits. 18. That'll work. Now, I will say, for those of y'all, the benefit of those of y'all who have not watched when I use lightning craft before, this will severely make the game harder. Lightning craft, unless they've changed it, once I reach a certain point in the mod, will start having demons hunting me. And I've never successfully been able to get them to leave me alone. Well, hello, Android. Die. I will happily kill you. Die. Oh, and yep, that was lightning hitting them. That was cool. Uh, blood bottle and that. Look at these guys. We're going to take... Ow! Now, as I was saying, we're going to take and bring this out this way, I think. Maybe from right here. Like I said, I don't want it near anything wood. Well... Anything wood that's mine. I don't really want it too close to my house, even if my house wasn't wood. Because it gets loud and annoying. Now, I will be as first to say, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know what this does. We're going to try it. Okay, we can't connect it to the RF ourselves. Ah, there we go. Okay. Energy cell. It's got RF. Not sure how to turn that into LE. Or if it does, it's the other way around, to be honest. Let's see. LE to RF bus. It's lightning energy to max transfer. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it looks like 500 RF to 1 LE. Now, let's see. We need an air terminal, maybe. Or this will just create lightning energy for us. I don't know yet. 
Hence why we're far away from our base. The infusion table. Oh, the electrum. Wait a minute. The lightning infusion table is used to make electrum. Okay, that's easy enough. We already have made one other item in Lightning Craft. So what we're going to need to do is going to be easy enough. Wow, I'm actually surprised. I will keep that other though away from my base because I don't know how safe it is yet. But we need gold. Iron, three, and a diamond, and diamonds, two, three, one too many. Really? And it didn't give us electrum. Irony, golding, and diamond on the ground with lightning. Hello, my developer? Something is not working. Oh. We'll try one of these. Ah, there we go. Instead of targeting them, target next to them. Okay, okay. I got it, I got it. Over here, let's grab these. Because we can uh, get more gold out of those. Oh, over 200 of that. Sadly, no EMC value. Not really surprised, but A. As always was hoping. Really? I can only do one at a time, I guess. Now, what y'all are not seeing is the golf club actually does have a durability. Um, the reason it's not going down, of course, is my ability to repair durability. Usually, you're only, only going to get two times of summoning lightning with this. With the iron one and about three times of doing it with the gold one. Because there are two golf clubs. Let's try it with one of each. Ah. 
Oh, that time it worked. You do need three of these for what I want. Yay, it's not a blood moon, so we can sleep. And we should now be able to put this dangerous golf club up. Now. Infusion table. Not what I wanted. Infusion table. There we go. That. Need thunderstones. There we go. Comparator. Something I forgot about this mod is it does use a decent amount of comparators. Not too many mods do that. Alright. Now can we transfer energy from that other into this? Is that what we're doing here? No LE. No. All right. Well, I will be looking into this off camera because sadly I am now out of time. We're going to pick these conduits up though. Which we don't seem to be able to vein mine. I do want to thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw here, go ahead and hit that like button down below. If this is the first video you've seen by me and you want to see more, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, all that fun stuff. Uh, as always, in the description below will be a link to my social media. Feel free to check it out. I will be honest with you, though. I don't use much of my social media. Uh, Twitter is set to automatically send out notifications when I upload so yeah that's about the biggest thing I do with social media occasionally uploading pictures um, I have a patreon account if you want to check it out there I have no patreon no patrons so I don't really do much on it I did it when I first set it up I was a little more active on it but since it has gone nowhere I just don't use it Again, I want to thank everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time.